Hello and welcome to this video tutorial for F Expansion's Etch Red. Etch Red is the Reason Rack extension version of our dual filter plugin Etch. It shares a lot of common features with Etch but has been designed to work specifically in the Reason environment, even down to the rear panel audio and CV routing options. Let's take a look at the Etch Red interface. The top half is dedicated to audio signal routing. The audio comes in at the left and makes its way to the right via the drive section, the dual filter plugins, and the output and compressor section. The drive section can be switched between pre and post filter, and the filters can be switched between serial and parallel routing. The bottom half of the interface is dedicated to modulation routing. There's an attack hold decay envelope, two LFOs, an envelope follower, and a sample and hold module. The modulation source selection area, shown in red, allows various modulation sources to be selected. For example, here I'm selecting LFO1. With this selected, any of the red knobs you see on the interface become modulation amount parameters for the selected modulation source. So here I'm applying LFO1 to the filter 1 frequency cutoff. If I then switch the modulation source selector to LFO2, that knob resets because the knob has become focused on LFO2 and not LFO1. So if I switch back to LFO1, we'll see the LFO1 to filter 1 cutoff amount. With this in mind, let's have a little fun with Etch Red. I'm going to delete this Etch Red from my rack and we'll start afresh. Let's hear what I've got. So we're going to apply Etch Red to the pad synth part in this loop. I'm going to select Etch Red from the Creative Effects menu. And if we flip to the rear panel, we can see that it's been inserted after this Maelstrom instrument. The first thing I'm going to do here is use Etch Red's envelope follower to close the filter cutoff using the kick drum from my drum part. This re-drum device here is being used exclusively for the kick drum. Because the kick drum is a mono signal, I'm using the left output to go to the mixer and I'm going to use the right output to go to the envelope follower. Flipping round to the front, we should see the signal on the envelope follower following the kick signal. Now with the follower selected in the modulation source selection area, I can apply that envelope follower to the filter frequency. Adjust the attack and decay levels. And we have a really nice kind of ducking, pumping feeling that's quite prevalent in dance music at the moment. Now to make things interesting, let's do something with filter 2. I'm going to put filter 2 in parallel mode and we're going to use the sample and hold modulation source to create a bit of random tempo synced interest into the pad. to set the rate to about one eighth of a bar and then we're going to select the sample and hold in the modulation source selection area and we 
going to apply it to this filter. We can change the slew amount. Maybe change the relative outputs of the two filters. And that sounds pretty good, I think. One of the nice features of Etchred is that any of these modulation sources are available via CV outputs on the back panel. What this means is we can use the whole modulation section to actually modulate different things in our reason racks. For example, I've got a drum loop here and I could send the same sample and hold signal that I'm using to modulate filter 2 to the filter cutoff of my Dr. Rex player up here. If I set the filter to about halfway, you can hear that we've got kind of synchronized modulation across various devices. That's it for this video, but join me for more videos where I'll be teaching you more Etch Red tricks and tips.